Tell me about your relationship with uh with Pappy. Pappy? Shit, bro was cool, you feel me? He used to be around from time to time. Like, when Pappy was coming around, like, I was locked up. So when I got out, you feel me, it was brief, you feel me? Like, one of my homies always, they moved up there, was fucking with him, saw a song. Like, a little fruit times here and there, downtown and shit like that. But then when I got out, the time he was in the hood around here, I was locked up for a minute. So when he got out, we, you know what I'm saying, politics, he came to my crib, but I can't really say I had an old, you feel me? Uh, How me and Ducky is, you know what I'm saying? Me and Cash and I'm like, but that's bro, he could, you know what I'm saying? He's more so he's with my cousin, like his best friend Duddy, like, so, you know what I mean? So, how did like the deaths of Doug and Pappy and then, you know, uh, FBG Cash, how did those deaths, man, like change how you move? Because, I mean, you got a name, but you still in the city, you know what I'm saying? We right here, you know what I'm saying? We here, we here right now. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know. Cocky shit, like, I always move how I move, like, you feel me? Being from where I'm from, you gotta move a certain way, cause that shit that's going on out south and what's going on up north, I got shit going on here, you feel me? So, I always move how I'm supposed to move, like, that's some shit my uncle and them and people I call, you know what I'm saying, old heads, put in my head, like, move correct, you feel me? You know, that 5P shit, pop preparation, best boy performance, you feel me? You can't be out here moving loose. So, I don't move loose, you feel me? So, it really just made me probably lock down more because I got to get back to my kids. So, but I move the same because I move how I move. You, know? you feel like you inherited some of their beefs, like being so close to them? Yeah, in Chicago, you inherit everybody beef. You can take a picture with a motherfucker on some cool shit. You just became they ops ops, you feel me? Like, that's how this shit go. So, so that ain't like, thing, like, change. You, it, it ain't affect you nothing. You just nah, kept doing the same shit. I ain't going to lie to you. Motherfuckers know what's up with me. I don't be giving a fuck about none of that. Like, niggas see me and I see them. Some niggas don't turn, don't turn on the way, and some niggas gonna have to do what they gotta do because they know I'm gonna take it there. I don't give for where we at, mall, restaurant. I'm gonna take it there. You're not gonna play with me because I gotta make it back home. So anybody ever ran into me, they gonna, oh yeah, he took it there. Like, and don't put no open no phone up to you from record me. It's like, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what we like before all that gunplay shit and all that. Like, the grand's what we do. We, we fight, you feel me? Like, that gun shit, that's, anybody can shoot a gun. But where I'm from down here, we do that. That's like, that's the number one thing we do. We beat ass, you feel me? <laughs> so, get, hey, get like a, a little funny segue. Um, like the state of like the guys right now in the rap game, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of rappers that's, you know what I'm saying, trying different techniques and different ways to get their name popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you how you how you feel about that? Is that is that something that you would do, or you, you you like it? You like what you see? What's going on? Like what you mean? Like I think in their name, probably gotta go to nah, detail. I'm talking about the whole like, thing, though. I'm talking about the whole thing. So I'm talking about it's a it's a lot of rappers right now that's doing whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? For example, you got dudes like King Yellow. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes like FYBJ Man. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about that aspect, like? Yeah, they doing whatever it take. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I know them your people too, so. I'm going to speak on that, you feel me? At first, like, a lot of people were telling me to do the blog shit because I know a lot of motherfuckers and people fuck with me and all this and that shit, different neighborhoods and whatever. But to touch on the blogger shit, like, I ain't really into speaking on shit that really happened and people still, like, it's kind of like you self-telling on yourself type shit to a sense. Cause I just seen, not saying bro them doing that, but I just seen other rappers, you feel me, get on that motherfucker, get on that motherfucker and tell stories about who they shot, they done caught, chased down, all this shit, like, it's one thing saying like, yeah, uh, I was in a bang, y'all, ooh, this and that, but you going to detail, like, damn, like, you just saying, oh, I done saw who out the band, hop out the car, the gun jam, he, like, it do hit it, different. It hit different. <laughs> you hear me? Like, so what about somebody like Yellow Man who just recently recorded himself like smacking the motherfucker beating up, beating the nigga up and shit? That was goofy as hell. Sorry. See, <laughs> See that? I called bro about that. He said that's about some touching some little girls or some shit like that. Like, like it is what it is. Like, I don't know the details of that. He said, I, the shit was funny to me. 
You know what I'm saying? See, if you if you if you was on some pedophile shit, I co-sign. I ain't gonna lie. If you on some pedophile shit, yeah, like dual post the. You feel me? Touch them. Some motherfucker that you sleep. And dude posted like he paid them for some cat. You feel me? And I don't know. So it sounded like it add up. He was trying to take the me out. You feel me? So like, oh. <laughs> so I can't really, you know. Right. So out of all the rappers that like you kind of came up with from Chicago, like who you most proud of right now? Most proud of for like my era. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, first and foremost, I'm proud of bro, duck, for getting the deal. You feel me? All the shit doors you open up for everybody like four head or down, like you can't really say nothing about drill without saying nothing about bro, like you know what I'm saying? Like everybody gonna say Sosa and all that of course. But you can't speak on a rap without saying nothing about who you know what I'm saying? And that's just me, like that's just facts, bro. Like So when Chief Keep came out, y'all was bumping that shit? I'm be honest with you. No, bro, no, like, duck no one. Like, anything that's not disrespectful and I like it, I'm gonna play it. I don't give no fuck. Like, it's music, bro. Like, that's just me. But if you want the motherfuckers that overly this, like, duck, if I was, you know what I'm saying? If I was on their side and I heard, I wouldn't play duck. You feel me? That's just me. Like, but he had some decent shit, probably. Like, yeah, but niggas over there that's overly dissing. I wouldn't play that shit. I respect for bro now. They, you know what I'm saying? So like when Vaughn was out, you weren't playing Vaughn? Nah, like, I'm type of motherfucker like this. I'm going to go see what he's talking about. Cause, you know what I'm saying? That's the opposition. Like, you want to see what the fuck going on? What he's saying? This and that. You got to, how you think bro going to respond to it? Mm -hmm. Everybody listen to everybody's shit, no matter what the case may be. Because how you respond to that, if you don't know what the fuck you he's saying. Right. So, some of them got some little decent songs over there though. They ain't gonna fly, so they ain't gonna name nobody, get nobody for no credit for some shit. If I heard it, I bump my head to it. But yeah, they got some these nice little rappers over there. Shit. Like, you know? So why you think all like the GD ops get famous, man? Cause like, that's a trend. Even, yeah, you can't even just say it's the BDs. It's that's like, a whatever, trend, right? Like, the GDs get famous. You drop the rakes, you get in the dope. You know how they say the little old slang, you come to our pod, you gotta drop the race before you come to, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at that shit like, dude, them on some gatekeeper shit, but then at the same time, I can't say they on some gatekeeper shit. But, this, put it like this. They were saying the black ball shit, right? I believe that's 50 50. You can't knock talent. You see what I'm saying? Because now you really can't say the black ball duck got a deal. LeBron had a deal, you feel me? He's been a, he had another deal on the table with Jay Prince and them. So, you feel me? He had all, multiple deals before that that he just didn't like. So, I can't really say it's 100% blackball. But then, you got motherfuckers that's doing interviews with academics and say, I'm not blackball to nobody. But then say, you do a song with this person that I don't like, I can't fuck with you. What is that? That's a form of blackballing, you feel me? You can't, now, in the city, it's different. Our city fucked up, so it's like, I can understand that you do a song with them, all right, whatever. But then you gotta go on the public stand. I don't fuck with nobody, I'm just an artist. I fuck with them, I fuck with them. But you tell a motherfucker that's from Buck Fuck Baton Rouge or some shit, you do a song with them, I ain't fucking with you, that's goofy as hell. They from out of town. Yeah, so they don't like, have nothing to do with what we got going on. You telling them not to do a song with somebody? So, like, who's that uh, Kodak Black? Was like, he can't Yeah, do over there with Big Enough. He couldn't do a yeah. song because he cool with dirt and shit like that. That's clown shit. You ain't got nothing to do with nothing we got going on. Now, let's say Big Enough take off right now. He getting hot as hell. He doing songs with Drake's and everybody. Now, you let's do a song. Hell no. Nah. You just shitted on me. Over some shit you have nothing to do. So, nothing what was up with this sniper gang shit? Like, what was that like? He was trolling or something? No. Nah. See, it come back to real shit like that. Some of his artists fuck with bro. So you saying that, what you saying about him, but some of your artists fuck with bro. When they come to his city, they tap in with bro. Mm -hmm. Now you doing that could have just made a chain of reactions. And when your artists come to the, you feel me, fuck them up. Right. Head tap them, get them out the way. All over some Chicago shit. And you from Miami, they got nothing to do with shit. Nothing. You feel me? Y'all not the same gang. Y'all not on no nation business shit. 
y'all totally different shit from two different places, two different atmospheres, and you on some. That's gay to me, folks. You feel me? Paul, my bad. I'd say, you feel me? I know <laughs> so, yeah, they, uh, yeah. <laughs> they community, you know, they went, be on people went, backs went. for that. When Ruka dropped that uh, Genies in the Dough, man, what you thought about that? Like, man, you thought that was going to be like a one? Did you think it was really going to kick the door? I fuck with the song, you feel me? I didn't think it was going to go that big. I, I thought it was on some plane. He was playing on the, on the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it did that, oh, damn, like, you see everybody, kids, they playing that shit, they wedding song. Walking to walking in and they wet them. That motherfucker do it, you feel me? Yeah. And they go back to what you were saying, like, the talent. You can't knock, you feel me? You can't knock talent, you can't knock good music, bro. And that's just real shit.